Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac. Last episode, we had that amazing Judas run, and all was well. I think this episode, we're just gonna do... Uh, we'll do Cain this time. We'll do Cain. We'll explore our options here, and, and see what some of these other guys offer. Uh, I think Cain does have something about him. Oh, he starts with one luck. That's what it is. Yes. Speed and range up. Why did my range go down then? Maybe it said range down. Maybe I didn't read that right. Well, whatever. Range range really isn't what you need most of the time anyway. As long as you have decent range in this game, you don't worry about it too much. Um, that was pretty good, actually. I basically walked from the starting room next room boom item room next room boom boss so that was pretty quick let's just go ahead and slam down this boss and get out of this floor i don't really want to be here oh kane's not one that needs items to become strong i mean he still does have an exceptional uh damage rate versus you know the other guys uh he starts at 4.2 while everybody else kind of starts at 3.5, or at least Isaac and the others do. So, that's not bad. I just would prefer more damage and faster tier rate. His tier rate's the same as well, 10. 10 is the same tier rate that everybody starts at, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't think, I just don't think he has any particular advantage. Here we go. We grabbed on our way out. And we got some damage there. We got uh, two point something damage, so I'm happy with that. Now we can start draining. Oh, wow, that stinks. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, let's check out the... Oh, we got poop, uh, pupula. Pupula. Du pu 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 duplex. We got duplex, the wide shot thing. Yeah, that one. That we had, I'm pretty sure last episode we had this. Basically makes it so you, you can't miss shots, right? I mean, these, this is a pretty good, pretty good item for me because I'm bad. So I will take it. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. He, he kind of just killed himself. Okay. Oh, we don't have any bombs. Can't do anything with that. Um, keep foraging on them, or forging, forging on, not foraging on. Oh, there we go. We got a bomb. Let's push this over here. Oh, there we go. I'm a little too fast for my own good right now. There we go. And then we can just blow up all this. All right. So we made two coins off it. I mean, like if you look at it idealistically, we made two coins. Oh, oh, that doesn't feel good that doesn't feel good too fast but not fast enough alrighty I think Dingle has a maximum number he can summon of his little minions alright I think we did just fine I think that's synth oil damage and range up yep okay I will take synth oil man it feels like every item does you know some sort of like damage upgrade until you get to the part where you're not getting damage upgrades and you know you're just you're not getting anything good at all then you're like where where was all the damage upgrades man and you're only getting uh, like range up and just just absolutely trash stuff then that's the worst feeling and uh, I just wanted to see if maybe we could get in there and get anything but I wasted my bomb, so instead we got nothing. We actually have nothing of value out of that room. Which does stink, but it's okay. We move on. You know, life continues. We'll go to the next floor. Let's see what we can get out of here. Maybe this time we can actually get a deal. If I don't, uh, if I don't screw it up like I did last time. Oh. Okay, okay I almost, I almost got hit by that but that only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades and not in binding of Isaac so there you go 
I don't know if luck is what's causing all these items to be dropped, but we are getting a pretty good amount of stuff. I would say just about every room we're getting something out of it. Uh, whether it be a key, a bomb, or... There we go. A coin, a heart. That kind of stuff. We are getting value every room. That's not happening. Uh, which is a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm happy with that. Let's take out this room. See if we can find our item room. Hopefully get some shot speed. No, not shot speed. Tears up. That's what we need. Hierophant? Nope. The tower. Well, we can get rid of the tower. They, it just summons a bunch of bombs everywhere. I'm not super thrilled when I get tower cards. Sometimes you can use them if you're in a pinch and you need to uh, need to blow up a rock. There we go. This is what I wanted was the Hierophant. And then we can get two uh, fly protectors. Or, sorry, we needed two soul hearts. And then we got two fly protectors as well. We also have seven keys, so we have more than enough to actually just waste going and opening these rooms. Let's wait on it. Um, if anything, I'd like to take the starter deck, which is the, which it was the item on the right, and we can get, um, we can get cards through our entire run, which is really great if we can score that. If we can't, that's not a big deal either. I don't think we're going to be able to, because we only have seven coins and we need 15. So, my hopes are not high. And that's okay, because then we'll just donate to our machine. The nice guys we are. We're going to donate and put it in the bank for next time, right? Saving money is important. And I think that's the lesson that Binding of Isaac is trying to teach us all. So we got Gertie. Big old Gertie. Oh, she's shooting a lot at me. Let's see what let's see what we can get here so we actually did secure our deal with the devil chance uh, we really didn't get hit on this floor at all from what I remember and we got cube of meat which is not bad um, there is actually oh, there we go so we got the whore of Babylon uh, which means we are also gonna take this there we go um, so the way that was actually supposed to work for me is not the way it happened but that's okay um, the whore of Babylon when you drop down to half a heart I guess must be half a heart because we didn't get it this time uh, when you drop down to half a heart you get more damage shot speed like all all of these upgrades you transform into the whore of Babylon and it's a really good transformation it's just I thought maybe I could get it by dropping down to one heart. Uh, unfortunately not, though, and I also took damage in the process. So, because it has been so long uh, since I've really played and gotten into this game, I thought Horror of Babylon was actually something that was going to give us spectral tears and maybe just other generally good things. Oh, he, he actually can get hit by fire. So let, let's leave the fire for him. Um, but I was wrong. I just didn't know what item I was looking at, really. And so I thought that that was a different one. That's okay as well. Oh, there we go. Uh, unfortunate, I'd say, but not, not deal-breaking. I will take four of Babylon. And hopefully we can make good use of it this game. If we can meet somebody that can take half a heart off of us, then absolutely. That'll that'll solve that problem pretty quickly. Um, like a demon beggar. We can get a demon beggar and he can remove half a heart. Or we can find a... What is it? The blood banks? We can find a blood bank and that'll also remove half a heart. So... If we run into either one of those, this turns into a different type of run very, very quickly. Just, we have to find one of those, which in Isaac, this game's all just chance and luck. So, we'll see. We will see. I don't know if we're going to get to make use of Fort Babylon this run. Unfortunately. 
Because I can't risk killing myself, obviously. We saw what happens when I do that every once in a while. Uh, actually, we don't want... We don't want Isaac's fork. That is going to make it so we have some sort of chance to... Um, well, like it said, consume our enemy. So that would be like... Life steal, kind of. Oh man, this is not going my way right now. Come on, there we go. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Except this champion, he's a real pain in my ass. There we go, let's use that. Luck down! That's not what I needed. Okay. So, what we're gonna do here, we're actually gonna save the soul heart. And there's a good reason for that. Because we're going to activate Horror of Babylon. Okay. Unintentionally, we might also activate Horror of Babylon. By getting shot with brimstone and whatnot. From this guy. Okay. Oh! There it is. There's Horror of Babylon. So, I accidentally triggered Horror of Babylon. Which is fine. Unfortunately, we just got Magic Mush. Ah, Magic Mush, you are killing me. But that's okay, because I love Magic Mush. I don't know which is better, Magic Mush or Horror of Babylon. But, we will keep this one. Okay, this is actually an okay room as well. Okay, Steven, thank you for coming to the basement. Let's see if we can get some coins out of this one. There we go. So... Those chests, you uh, hit them with a key, they'll open, then they'll close again, and you just keep hitting them with keys, really, and then uh, they, you know, you can open them sometimes four or five times. So that's kind of lucky, it gave us basically all the keys we needed. This is garbage. Okay. We'll take this back. I don't really care about the pickaxe at all. There we go. That was crappy. What a stupid room. Sure, I'll take a battery. Why not take a black heart? Heck yeah, man. Um, we're not gonna exhaust this floor of all rooms because I don't want to go back up for the others. There's some some level of speed in this game I also like to maintain. And then I also do try to, uh, two of diamonds. Okay. Um, we're going to hold on to it. What floor are we on? Catacombs two. So we've got depths one and two ahead of us. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to get to use three of diamonds much either. Or two of diamonds, sorry. Two of diamonds will multiply our coins by, uh, two, really. That, that's it. It multiplies our coins by two. See, we got justice. Okay, not bad, not bad. The only problem is, if I multiply our coins by two, and we only have four, then I'm only getting eight. Basically, if you if you use two of diamonds, yeah, I thought this was the lockdown pill, um, then you want it to give you good things in return, right? Let's see if we get anything off this key bagger. Most of the time, I don't play these guys, but we have had so many keys, we, you might as well, right? You might as well. This guy's really not playing my good side. He's not strumming my heartstrings right now. Uh, he's giving me chess, and I and then I need keys for chess. Except that I shouldn't have grabbed that. Ah man. Okay, well, I do that all the time. I I get too hasty with grabbing items. All right, we'll we'll take the sun. We will take the sun, and we will use it to help our current predicament um yeah so the cursed eye uh not a bad item i guess just not one that i would like to take basically um we'll grab this yes thank you Ah oh, man there we go we we got uh rubber cement that's the new one so this one just bounces tears like that that's it um we'll take oh maybe i shouldn't have wasted our two keys on this i don't know um, we have an item generator, and we have plenty of floors, and all that good stuff, so I think we're actually okay. Uh, oh. I don't know if it bounces off enemies or not. 
let's go back to the shop here. Okay, so we have car battery and... Hmm. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. So, using two of diamonds... No, we're going to save two of diamonds. We need it after we get amazing rolls for something. We, we, we don't... We're not wasting two of diamonds on some dumb dumb stuff like car battery, you know? Actually, we are. We're going to go back and buy car battery. I'm pretty sure that this either does... Okay, so this is double charge. So I'm pretty sure what car battery does... Because there's a... So there's a few items that help with charging your spacebar items. If we can get a good spacebar item, that would be, in, that would be great. But I don't expect that. Oh, okay. So that's, that wasn't good either, actually. Speed down. Apparently, Kane is not getting the good pills today. Um, normally, Kane is normally... He, he's, he usually gets quite good pill drops. Not today, though. Um, we'll go in here. So we got Mask of Infamy. Nice. Easy boss. Easy boss. Okay, so he's one of the enemies that we have to... Oh, shoot in the back of the head. Okay. I understand. I actually didn't really know that. I kind of just shoot infamy and then he, he normally goes down. That's, that's really it. Um, we will take this. Does it trigger Whore of Babylon? It did. Yes. So we now actually have the Whore of Babylon on at all times. We will use the two of diamonds. Notice that we now have 22 coins instead of 11, which is good stuff. Yes, finally. There we go. Look at this. We are, we are in the money now, guys. This is actually a run I can be proud of. We have all these nice things going for us. And we got a Tears Up pill. Heck yeah. Thank you, game. Thank you for being so generous. We have number two. Okay, I actually didn't know that was number two. Um, but we took it. <laughs> so number two, we just kind of randomly poop bombs. Uh, that's... Really all number two does. I thought that... <laughs> there we go. Amazing. Here we go. Oh, we have our health generator over here. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, let's go in here. Okay. I don't think we're actually going to play any... Oh, yeah. Well, my bomb was wasted, wasn't it? We can just wait until number two poops out a bomb. Go ahead. Number two. Come on. All right, well, whatever. Um, we made money back on that room, I think. Oh, and number two, he's, he's still, still going. I think it does have a room-wide AOE effect as well if we actually let it do it. Oh. Okay. So, there was good reason to do this room. Um, typically, with these golden chests... Sometimes, usually, like, one drops an item. So, I kind of wanted to see if we can get an item out of this room. Unfortunately, we didn't. That's okay, though. We still have... There we go. We got one key here. We'll go here and see. No, still no item, but we did get money. Eh. I don't think we really need the money anymore, though. We need keys. Oh. There we go. Nice. Not even really working for it anymore. Oh. Oh. I didn't even see him come out of there. Did anyone see that? That shit just rushed me. Uh, here we go. We got a battery. Nice. There we go. If we could get something that allows us to continually use this, I think we could actually get uh, unlimited health. But that's also entirely RNG. Um, because of... Wow, rubber cement's awesome. I'm happy with it. Um, I don't know what just happened there. So, I think this is one of those runs. You, you gotta do boss rush in it, right? Speed down. Let's, okay. So we have amnesia. Doesn't matter. Let's see. So we got Gemini. Oh, man, these are really bad items. Uh, we will take Harley Quinn Baby, though. 
because that's the kind of monsters we are. I just wanted to do boss rush, so we're gonna do it again. I normally try to take boss rush if it's open. Uh, but also, we still actually have to do boss rush on all these characters. I don't... Oh, I... It was a bomb. A bomb hit me. Uh, one of my own bombs got me there. I was trying to figure that out for a second. But anyway... We also have to do these on every character, so we kind of just got to try to get them out of the way on runs that we deem good. Otherwise, we might not get to do these it might take a long time for us to get these wow and i got hit and i don't oh number two number two teleported me out mm, okay i forgot about that about number two number two kind of is a cursed item um if yeah we, we can't do boss rush anymore because of number two so number two if you get hit it will teleport you out of a room I actually forgot about that. It's not like a hidden effect on the item. It just, you know, doesn't say that on the card. And my, my cat's trying to play right now. Um, but, yeah, that does stink because now we basically can't get hit in a room or else it's going to teleport us out and we're going to have to redo that room. There we go. We can grab this. I am A-OK -okay with two soul hearts. Heck yeah, man. Oh, my cat just jumped up in my lap again. He is not very good about standing on the floor where I put him. Um, he's just, he's hes needy, man. He wants attention all the time. Two of diamonds. There we go. We got 90, we have all 99 coins now. All is well. Uh, Demon Beg is not something I feel confident that we can play and not die this game. So, we're not going to do that as much as I'd like to. We are going to try to just get out of this room, or get out of this uh, floor, though. There we go. Killed that boss. We got a uh, HP up, so let's see if we can burn it off. Uh, we can, actually. We can. Did you really, game? Thank you so much. I'm gonna be a little upset if that's not there anymore. And it's not! Thank you so much, game! Oh, man. Yeah. I thought number two was a different item. It is. It was not. <laughs> I thought number two was actually, like, some glass item. I will take Dice Shard. That's a good item. Um, yeah. So that kind of that kind of got us actually. There's there's a few items that you get them in this game by accident, and you're like, that's not what I asked for at all. But thank you anyway. Okay, thank you, game. What do we get here? Um, that's that's not great either, but it's still better than whatever else we have. Here we go. We'll take it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a nasty little play? I could just get hit and get teleported out of this room as well. But I am trying to save soul hearts because I don't really want to just go around wasting them like that. Also, we, we get... Oh, hold on here. There we go. Okay. These enemies are just really just timing. Uh, you just have to wait until their head pops up. And you can't do anything until their head pops up. I don't like them for that reason because they feel just kind of uh, like like they're there to waste your time kind of thing. Wow, look at that. Awesome. That's awesome. We are getting batteries on our rolls and then the batteries just feed into more. So it's good. We're getting good stuff right now. I don't think this guy, I don't think this boss even drops an item uh, when we actually get to her. Cause it's because it's mom's heart this time right ah, I'm afraid to touch the one die I kind of thought that was what it did okay so our entire run just got re-rolled we somehow have fun guy we also do 30 damage now though I don't know what we have that does that um, it seems like we also have some sort of $3 bill thing going on here. Because we do have... Uh, we're getting random tier effects. So maybe we have $3 bill? Oh, wow. I'm not sure. Sometimes if you re-roll your run, you end up with worse than what you started with. That's for sure. 
Um, let's not play Demon Beggars. Okay. What is going on this run right now? This is very strange. Okay, we're gonna use the Magician in here so that hopefully everything kind of finds its way, finds its mark, is, uh, is what I should say. Okay, there we go. We can kind of just end her, apparently? Okay. Alright, apparently that was the run, guys. I mean, Kane did just fine. We didn't get a... We didn't get the option to go to the Devil Deal there. I'm pretty sure it's the same cutscene. Yeah, he goes into the chest. All is the same. Let's go... We got Transcendence. We have Solar System. Ace of Clubs. That was today's episode. That's actually considerably shorter than most of our runs. I think we just did really well, and I, uh, and I ran as fast as I could, I guess. But anyway, if you guys are enjoying The Binding of Isaac, it's a pretty good game. I left the link in the comments if you guys want to get it for yourself. Uh, it has a little bit of DLC. It's actually coming out with another DLC in December. I think the beginning of December. Repentance, I think, comes out. I think that's the name of it. But... Kane did just fine. Uh, let's take a look at Kane real fast. So, Kane actually does start with the luck foot. I don't know if he did last run or not. But, um, we got the heart on him. So, there we go. I don't know what the star is on Isaac, but we got it on Judas as well. Oh, that's boss rush. Because we got teleported out of boss rush. That's right. But anyway, if you guys are enjoying this series, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.